you pointed out to me uh, the Karolinska studies that muscle mass and longevity are highly correlated. You know, I worked diligently on putting on 10 pounds of muscle mass last year, really through your inspiration and encouragement. So please talk to me about that. So people don't recognize how important skeletal muscle is. It's kind of like a forgotten organ. People don't think of it as an organ, right? But muscle makes up 50% of the wet body mass of the average individual. And that means it's the largest synthetic organ in the body. The cells in your muscle make up a whole array of chemicals called the myokinome. And those chemicals influence every cell and tissue in your body, including your brain. And so that's why exercise and getting those muscles working actually is good for your brain health, for your immune health, et cetera. Now, in addition, in addition, muscle is the largest venous capacitance organ, which means it's got the largest network of small blood vessels, low flow blood vessels, low pressure blood vessels. And that's where a lot of our stem and immune cells take up residence. They sequester there, laying in wait to be to be to be called upon to traffic and do their job. Now I for you, you probably remember 20 years ago, I said that muscle is the, is the forgotten frontier for the therapeutics and pharmaceutical industry. And mm -hmm. if you remember, I got very active at finding ways to modulate myostatin, a protein that is designed to, to control how much lean muscle mass you make. And I, I saw that as an opportunity to enhance muscle quality and growth with this blockade of this of this negative peptide and we actually were able to do that with nutritional products and there's even a number of pharmaceutical approaches as well it turns out that this is incredibly important because of the study you just quoted the karolinska institute which is the mayo clinic of europe okay the karolinska institute followed 9000 men for 25 years and what they found what they found was that men who maintain healthy lean muscle mass and strength, even if their body mass index was considered to be obese, had a higher resistance to dying from cancer or heart disease than any, than any other indicator. So muscle mass is a better predictor of longevity and health than body mass index, weight, any of those metabolic uh, markers. Yeah, I, I and I I love that the um, you know for me I, just, I keep on saying any company that will increase muscle mass is uh, a company I want to look at in, investing in.